Hi everyone, welcome back to another month of Mad About Mini Paper Pads. This month, um, I showed you just there, I am going to be doing, following this sketch. This sketch was put out by Paige Evans. Um, I don't, I think it was like a challenge or whatever. I don't know if she has a cut file for it or anything like that, but um, I, I like it for the Mad About Mini Paper Pads. And I am currently, at the time, I was currently using the Cocoa Vanilla Happy Days collection. I do have a couple more videos coming up that I will get edited and finally get out to you guys. <laughs> um, so you're going to see me. I used up definitely a lot of this collection. So I'm really, really happy with the results. So I just picked out some of the 6x8 paper pad, and I am so glad I got this paper pad. I, I, I'm, I'll i mention in a video tomorrow, I have been buying, shopping a little bit smarter. Um, so I'll talk more about that later, but basically, you know, instead of buying full collections, I'm picking out favorite papers and just getting a few of this and that. So also, um, I mentioned in the video tomorrow, um, I am going to be basically, I have a video that I filmed probably a couple months ago, but with um, some of my recent doodle bug hauls and I will talk, I'll get that up so you guys can see about, again, it really shows how I've been shopping and, you know, just kind of being a little bit smarter with my shopping. So for this sketch, again, I don't know if she probably has a cut file. She's got a lot of cut files. I don't really know. Um, I figured I would go ahead and start out with three inch squares and all I'm doing is I cut some papers that I thought would be fun together in this heart shape. And then, so I cut them into three inch squares and then I am taking a, you know, just cutting them at an angle so that they make the triangles. And I'm going to immediately find out that three inches is way too big. Because <laughs> um, it, it won't even, you can see here's the top of the heart and there's no way it would fit. But easy fix, so if you, you know, kind of make the same mistake that I did or something, I'm just going to cut them again into triangles. So I don't really know what size this makes them, but you can see, super easy. I just line up with, on my trimmer, the top of the triangle, and I cut it, and it turns out to be a perfect size. So that luckily worked out for me. Now, I did end up with more scraps than I had planned because I did it this way, but um, lesson learned, no big deal. And now they're gonna fit perfectly. So when I'm building this heart shape with the triangles, um, I definitely want to pay attention to where I am placing the different colors. Um, I want, you know, it, it threw me off a little bit because some of the papers, like the rainbow paper, had more colors on it, whereas you can see now that one that's already in the heart shape is just kind of a lot of pink and a little bit of yellow. So I felt like I had a whole lot of like pink colors and not really anything else. So I did find a scrap and luckily it fit um, just barely. And one of those actually with the blue polka dots has a little bit of white on it on one of the edges. It's very small and I don't think anybody would even notice if it was you know, on the layout, but um, it actually is, I wasn't worried because I knew that's where the photo was gonna go. So um, I'd love to know below, by the way, if you guys did this sketch, if you saw this sketch, uh, it's been all over Instagram, it's nothing new. Um, I just thought it was, again, perfect for this, you know, type of layout or for this mini pad. You know, you could use scraps so easily on this. But the other thing I'm also doing is I'm paying attention to the direction of whatever's on the pattern paper. So I do have that rainbow piece, piece up there at the top left of the heart. Um, and I wanted to make sure that the rainbows, they are kind of at an angle, that doesn't bother me. But if they were upside down, that would bother me. Same thing with the hearts. So that piece of pattern paper that's kind of white with just speckles, um, depending on what device you're working you know, watching this on whether or not you can really see. It is um, hearts, and so I made sure, again, they're angled, so they're not straight up and down, but I wasn't really worried about that. And by the time the page is done, 
it, again, it's super, you don't even notice it. So um, it, it's, yeah, just pay attention to where you're placing your papers and what direction you want things. And if you want, the, if you don't care if the uh, rainbows are upside down, then by all means, just flop them on there. It's no big deal. The other paper I ended up pulling out, which I wasn't originally planning, was that darker blue paper. So while I was building the heart, I just made sure not to have two of the same pattern papers touching each other. Um, you know, the blue is spread throughout the heart, so it brings your eye around. The light blue is spread around, and the pinks and the rainbows are spread around. And also, the pattern papers are not touching each other. So, you know, they're different patterns, but they're still not touching each other. Now, here I am going to go ahead and take this, which I'm loving this, uh, what is this, a quilting ruler or something? I mentioned it in another video. And few of you said you have those and love those. What I did was basically for the middle, <laughs> I wanted to kind of find the middle of the layout, but not, I'm not going to worry about it too much. What I basically wanted it for was a line to kind of line up my triangles. So here is the line is down there. And I think I went to an inch from the edge with the ruler. I mean, I could have erased it if I went all the way to the edge, no big deal there, but that's just a little bit of a hint um, if you want to, you know, try to make sure everything's lined up. Just use any ruler and at the six inch marks, both horizontal and vertical, draw a very light line and you can easily line up the triangles that go along the middle. Um, so you can see I'm working along the middle. Now, with that being said, because my triangles weren't all cut perfectly, now if you used a die or something, they would be probably all the exact same size. But because I just kind of cut mine with a, you know, my trimmer, they're not exact. You know, some are probably a little crooked. So there are parts of my heart that come out crooked and I'm not worrying about it at all. I'm really, it's not as noticeable to other people as it would be to like you and me, you know, because one, you're watching the video and I'm telling you it's crooked. <laughs> and, and me, I know it's crooked because I made the layout, right? So um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that it was mostly lined up and not like wonky all over the page. So it really did help having those lines, even the one that's going horizontal for putting these triangles down. It really helped because I could make sure that they weren't, you know, going higher up on the right side and lower on the left side or anything like that. Um, and I am inking all of my edges with my close to my heart pewter ink. Um, I hate trying to say that word. It's basically just a gray ink and I'm doing it really lightly. I don't want any kind of dark. I want it to help like the white pattern papers stand out, but I don't want it super dark. Um, and I am going to go ahead right now. I'm just using a temporary adhesive. And so after I basically put all these down, I am going to go back and I'm not going to do it on camera for you guys to have to watch me put this together again, but I do glue them down a little bit better. I add some wet glue. Um, some of the people, a lot of people actually stitched, which I think the sketch calls for it, stitched along each box. I am not going to do that. To me, I think that that would have taken too much away from the papers or made it busier than I wanted it to be. Um, I think some of the ones that I've seen people do with this sketch looks beautiful, but for me, I just, I didn't want to do that. So um, yeah, so, but I am going to, however, off screen, I went and watched TV with the family. And while we watched TV, I did hand stitch along each one of, or along the round, the entire heart. So instead of each little triangle, I just went around the heart. But look at that. Doesn't that look so cute? I actually was really happy with how this turned out. I, I love, I, I don't know. I'm kind of newer to Paige Evans. So I hope she puts out more sketches like this because it was a lot of fun to play with. Now, I'm going to use this ruler just before. This is before I went and stitched. This ruler does have holes in it, and I love it because it does have the holes. If it, I'm not one of those people that worries about if I make my own holes, if they're, you know, the exact distance apart. Um, 
so I am going to go ahead and start adding these. And it made it really easy because I could line up the ruler the exact same width after each or, you know, along the entire heart so that it was the exact distance around this heart the entire way around. I hope that makes sense. And I did mess up. I will tell you on the right hand side, I took the stitching. Um, I made the holes go too far because I just wasn't paying attention, but I just, I knew at this point I was going to cover it up with something. I figured I'd just add a little embellishment there. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, and you can't really see, it looks like you can barely see it on the screen, um, the stitching, again, depending on what kind of device you're watching on, but I have at this point, I went, I did the stitching, I added my photo, and it's a three by four photo, approximately about that, and I did add it on to the layout with foam tape so that it will stand out quite a bit. And just so you know, this is a photo of me and my husband. It's not the best of photos. I'm not going to lie. We were, you know, just woken up. I don't even think I'd had a co any coffee at this point, but I wanted to do kind of a fun little, um, like hand, you know, for 20, because this was our 20th, 20 year anniversary. We just celebrated that. Uh, some of you may know, I think I mentioned it maybe in another video, but yeah, we went to San Diego for our 20th anniversary and so I decided to try, you know, just the, like I said, with the two zero. Um, now, the only thing I kind of considered was maybe trying to pull out the two and the zero a little bit, maybe making a title like a large with my number dies or something, but I just really couldn't decide. And I figured, you know, I'm going to do a lot more pages of us for our anniversary. And this wasn't one of my favorite photos. So I decided to just go ahead and leave the two zero. I am going to, at some point in the layout, I'm going to take the mini alphabet stickers that are there and put the two zero on the layout, or I mean, excuse me, on the corner of the photo so people kind of understand why we're making the hand signs, you know? <laughs> they don't think we're some crazy, you know, people doing hand signs, but, um, but you'll see in the still shot photos, basically, I, I figured out how I wanted to make that work. So right now I'm working on the date. I decided I wanted this little, oh, journal box or whatever you call it, um, to go to the left of the photo and it has the date on it. So, you know, it's May 3rd to 2023. And I'm going to go ahead and tuck that in. And the rest of this layout actually goes fairly easily. Um, the one thing I will say is I put down all these embellishments and I'm going to glue everything down like this butterfly. I have a butterfly up in the other corners, you know, for those clusters. And then I'm going to realize I really wanted to add some flowers. I think the sketch even has flowers on it. And I, so I, I do have to pull some of these things up, but everything gets pulled up really easily. Um, the other thing that I did, which I don't think I mentioned, was I took a little bit of, I made a little bit of splatters on my layout. And all I did was I took one of my glitter pens from close to my heart. I've been really trying to use those a little bit more lately. And I lightened it up. It was like a black. I think it was a black and I added a quite a bit of water to it. Maybe it wasn't a black, but it was like a dark gray. And again, I added quite a bit of water to it because I wanted just a very subtle gray. I didn't want to pull out any certain color like blue or pink or anything like that. Um, so I did test it on another paper or two, and I apologize that I didn't do any of this on the camera, but, um, I just made sure that it was light enough so it would turned out to be a really light gray. And I also did that before I did my sewing because I didn't want the splatters to soak into the thread and look really dark or obvious. So I did leave the layout to dry for like a day before I went and sewed on it. So just um, FYI there. And um, yeah, so that basically covers, you know, the splattering. You can see it up close in the still shot photos too, if you are curious. And then I did add my title. I just went with Love You. I was trying to use the titles. I really liked the 
alphabet that came with this collection. So I've been really trying to use it up quite a bit. And I wasn't really sure with what I had left. Um, because I think at this point, I think I'd done at least two other layouts or something and I've used it already. Uh, so with what I had left anyways, I, I just went with love you. I mean, you can't go wrong with love you on a 20th wedding anniversary, right? So, um, I did the love you. And then on the sketch underneath the title, Paige Evans has journaling lines. And so I really didn't want to do again, any journaling, but I wanted, I liked the look of the lines because I felt it really helped with the layout. So instead I just took some of those word they're not stickers, they're phrases, I guess you could call them. They came from the one of the six by eight cut apart paper sheets. And yeah, so I just went ahead and added a few of those. And the reason I kind of didn't want to do any journaling is because I have so many more layouts. I mean, we went to the zoo, the San Diego Zoo for our anniversary. So I have a ton more layouts where I'm going to be you know, talking about our 20th wedding anniversary or whatever. And you know, maybe I'll add somewhere 20th wedding. I don't know. Um, but I do have more photos from this day. So, and I know they're going to say something about the anniversary. So yeah, I'm not worried about that. Um, so I left it just with those word phrases. Now here's where I am going along and I'm like frustrated because I really want to add the flowers. <laughs> So I do get them added on there though. It, it takes me a lot of playing around and colors, trying to figure out what colors look better, um, you know, which I wanna add colors and the colors that I have left at this point, I wanted different sizes and I didn't want too gigantic of ones. And I, yeah, I played with it quite a bit, but eventually I am going to add in some flowers and I really like how it turns out. The flowers ended up looking pretty good for, having it, you know, being totally unprepared with the flowers. I didn't add any leaves because it didn't, it brought too much of the green out. There is green on the layout, but I didn't, at least I think I didn't add any leaves. There is a little bit more green. The other thing I'm also doing, you can kind of see to add the flowers in with the clusters is I am tucking them underneath the letters from the title. Since I'd already glued those down, I did have to pull them up, but I just kind of re-glued them down, no problem. Um, and a lot of the stuff in my clusters on this layout are touching. You do not have to have your any of your elements touching in a cluster for it to look good. Don't feel like that at all. Um, but it, for this one, I just happen to have them all touching. Now here's where I'm taking these little tiny letter stickers and I was um, taking the number and I wanted again, just to have 20. I kind of like it down there, but uh, it, I, at the time I didn't, again, it's a lot easier for you guys to see from above than it is from an angle. <laughs> so I decided to be a little more subtle and put it on the photo. And you can see here, I'm trying to pull it up, but because I printed this photo at home, it's like, nope, it's not coming up. But Anyways, it works, so I'm happy with that. And then I'm gonna add in a few more, um, few enamel dots just around in the cluster because I love these and I love the hearts. But because I wasn't crazy about that number 20, after I turned off the camera, I did add a, the word hello above the number 20. So it kind of looks like it says hello 20 and that makes me feel better, which you can see in the still shot photos. So I also added some word stickers around and I also added some confetti. I don't know what you call it. You, a lot of the mixer shakens, just round circle ones you can kind of see in the still shot photos here. And I absolutely love how this turns out. So let me know what you guys think if you like this layout. And don't forget to check out all the other links below and play along with our hop. Have a great month. Bye.